Praise God. Welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let's give glory to God for God's forgiveness upon each one of us and our family members. This moment, we offer whatever we are going through right now. Give glory to God for all the divine interventions and divine encounter in our personal life. At the same time, we offer the vulnerabilities and nothingness of our life. If any one of you are going through rough times or really you are going through very uh, sad moments of life or you are really broken, whatever the life circumstances or situations of your personal life offer at the foot of Jesus this moment, remember all the members of your families, wherever they are in the world, remember them. Let us prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer in a worthy manner. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart and my body. Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. <clears throat> Let's read God's word. Gospel of Mark, chapter, chapter 12, verse 44. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, I'm sure... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure that you had a beautiful reading, Gospel of Mark chapter 12, and the last paragraph of this chapter about the widow's offering. This is something so beautiful when we reflect in the New Testament, the, the total surrender of this widow. Jesus had by himself, everyone, they offered everything which I have noticed, but this widow, she has offered everything what she had to live on. So a total surrender. I'm not keeping anything for myself. I'm not setting apart anything for myself. Instead, I offer all the areas of my personal life, my emotional aspects, my physical pain, maybe my spiritual dryness, my, uh, uh, the social, the social uh, outlook of my life. So the totality of my life. So God doesn't want any of my divided heart. God wants the totality of my life. He wants me in its totality of my being. So sisters and brothers, something uh, beautiful for us to reflect. Uh, am, I, am I set apart something for myself? Am I keep something aside for myself 
instead when i go to god maybe go to church for eucharist or when i or when i do in my prayer do i set apart something do i keep something for myself and offer the other aspect of my life am i am i a cheerful giver am i really give my heart or is there anything in the core of my heart i keep it for myself so my humble sharing with you today whatever whatever we set apart for ourselves that is going to destroy that's going to disturb and that's going to steal our joy whatever that we set apart for ourselves that is going to really trouble us today and tomorrow for sure the best thing and the beautiful thing offer offer the totality of our life even though we know it's just like a two uh, bread and a couple of fishes but give our little our nothingness and god make it a beautiful and in his in god's hand everything in abundance so look at the example of this widow she offered everything that she had to live on she does not know how to live the rest of her life because she offered everything to god a total surrender she never kept even a single piece of for herself she never kept anything for herself instead offered everything god wants your life god wants the fullness of your heart god wants the fullness of your being your flesh your body your life let's give to god because we have received from god when we give back to god really we feel life is beautiful thank you father for this help <clears throat> a humble prayer enlighten our mind with the truth inflame our heart with your love enrich our life with more and more service lord bless us with your wisdom we pray help us to practice genuine love which unites everyone together in christ jesus give us this day the grace to live now as you intend dear god to smile even when our burden seem heavy our heart seem broken let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences above all o merciful father let us suffer without regret for your holy name and holy will amen <coughs> so stay some brothers <clears throat> this is the moment let's pray for deliverance whatever that you are going through whatever that you experience vulnerabilities repeated sins bad habits addictions whatever this may be that's really troubling your day to day life that's really stealing the joy of your life whatever this may be offer to god offer to god the evil inclinations evil tendencies and the evil powers within us Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of enemies. Nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. I you are serving exercising the priestly ministry. in the most holy name of jesus asking god's deliverance upon his children right now father god we believe and profess that you are almighty and all powerful god you always listen to the prayers of your children we surrender the totality of our life today asking your healing hand upon our body and soul let there be healing in the name of jesus christ i command in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit all the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of christ let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of jesus of nazareth 
never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to heaven. Evil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, uh, we pray for peace in the world, peace in our own families, peace in our own hearts, in our neighborhood, especially whoever we meet today, that the peace of Christ overshadow us. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's pray together. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. We remember all the departed members of our families, particularly all the souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Let's also remember people from our own families or friend circle, people in our locality who are away from God, maybe our distant relatives or friends or blood relatives who, who reject and deny God, who are away from sacraments and away from God, who speak rubbish about the church and all kinds of abusive words about the people of God. <clears throat> Let us bless them in Jesus' name. Lord, have mercy on them. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let us claim Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Markle, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Guardian angels, guard us. <coughs> Sisters and brothers, today we are especially praying for the gift of patience. If any one of us are impatient, that shows my or your spiritual immaturity. We need to pray and we need not only to pray, we need to practice more and more patience. Sometimes it is good to keep silence. Silence is really a healing medicine. Sometimes we need to keep silence. Who told us or who said that we need to speak at all the time? Sometime good to keep silence and meditate and ponder and pray in silence. <clears throat> Today, especially we are offering the intention of people with the mental agonies, especially those people who are going through a lot of struggles, a lot of personal persecutions, persecutions through words, physical abuse, whatever, all those who are going through different kinds of mental agonies, mental struggles, mental pain, we offer them very specially. <clears throat> offer all your personal intentions, all the cancer patients, heart patients, all the students who are giving their exams, those young adults who are waiting for their spouse, waiting for the right job, those childless couple, and if anyone having any kind of issues with your stomach or any of the bleeding issues, all the pregnant ladies. And we pray for people who are lonely today, people who are disappointed today, those who are sad today. All the priests, all the religious sisters, 
offer all your intentions in silence. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Mark chapter 13. Gospel of Mark chapter 13, 1, 3. And uh, offering all your intentions and prayer requests, whatever you send to the YouTube and whatever you are sending to the email, we are offering everything to uh, the Lord during Mass and prayers and rosaries at Majigori. Continue to pray for you. Thank you for your prayers. Continue to pray for us. Have a blessed day and I really appreciate people who are giving beautiful reflections, those who are giving, those who are spending their time for making beautiful prayer, responding to prayer requests. I really appreciate your valuable presence in this prayer channel. Blessed day, sisters and brothers.